Hey, ladies and gents, it's his Dwiz here. Yesterday, I promised you a look at my King Kong from Skull Island from Mesco Toys, which um, told you was the um, is the most expensive single action figure I've ever purchased. And I got him out of the box, and he is awesome. He does not disappoint whatsoever. And he's a centerpiece of my collection now. And I'm very happy that I got him. I, 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 I do think that $150 would have been a sweet spot um, price-wise. But, man, I mean, even at $175 with free shipping... Um, I I'm I'm I don't regret getting him at all. I think he's awesome. So let me I can't really do a regular review of this guy because he's like way too big for my review table. But I'm setting him up here, um, and I don't know if the camera does him justice because he was considerably pricey when I first saw him um, at Decon. Um, I tried to talk myself out of getting him, and I um, was like, well, you know, no articulation in the elbows no articulation in the knees um you know is it really worth 250 dollars you know you have other king kongs all of those sort of concerns were put to rest he comes with this growling face which i think is the one i ollie will display him with um, I don't think the knee articulation or the elbow articulation makes a huge difference, especially with something this size. Here's an alternate head sculpt, which I also like quite a bit. And then there's a third head sculpt where he's got a more pensive look, which I think is is really, really awesome. He is vinyl. I mean, he's a vinyl figure. He's, he's not... Um, Hard vinyl, for example, not like the trolls, the Mythic Legion's trolls. I'll I'll put a troll up next to him. Look at that. This is the Mythic Legion's troll. <laughs> See how huge Kong is? Because the troll is a huge, huge figure. Um, I love all the details on on especially the scarring like on the chest. And on the face and on the eyes and stuff. The one thing you do have to be careful with uh, with this guy uh, is that it doesn't fall down and kill a small child or a pet or something. Because like I said, 13 pounds. They even included a little sheet there saying don't put him three feet above the ground. And this is the Mesco Baby Kong now. He he's I had bought this Kong and I thought, well, hey... Um, obviously I, I sort of put the armor on him from a Masters of the Universe Classics figure and I added a Mythic Legion's hammer and I turned him into a battle gorilla. But look how small he is. I, it looks, it looks completely different and something about, uh, the way the fur is sculpted on the larger gorilla, it just really seems to have more texture and more life to it it's really dynamic um and um a lot of you know you get to see all those details that even though this little tiny figure is awesome you get to see all the details that you are missing out on and i i think it's it's like a slightly stylized version of kong the only thing that could have been better it would have been to have like, like i know this is kong of skull island but it would have been nice to have like a a woman for him to hold in his hand <laughs> so um, he also comes with alternate hands he's got the fifth hands there's one and there's two left and right obviously and then he has these grasping hands which I think are more dramatic and dynamic um, and I, I put this is it's, it's like a four inch figure in there that fits in there nicely because I like to have him holding something but uh this is the kong that blows all the other kongs out of the water as you can see on my display i've got a wire holding him up securing him not that i think that there's going to be any sort of issue with him falling down but i just always want to make double sure especially with something this pricey and this heavy 
that it doesn't fall. It's got nice big feet and there isn't a lot of articulation in the feet. It's more of a swivel, but it does help you get it into a sweet spot so it so it doesn't fall. It's kind of hard to, you know, um, explain how the joints work here, but they also splay out nicely and it's all about helping him just stand up in that one pose. And then the arms and you know go up and down and all that and the wrists swivel we're not getting this guy for the articulation we're getting this guy for the sculpt the paint and just the sheer size of him look at the eyes there with the glossy paint and the glossy paint on the tongue i love how the teeth look it's just you know he blows all the other kongs out of the water we've got and let me show you some other kongs that i've got well i've already shown you him right um and let's see uh this isn't kong but it is gorilla grod and he's an awesome four horseman sculpted gorilla but you know he's uh he's the same color as a banana so um not your classic gorilla but it shows you how much i love my gorillas up here, I've also customized so that he works out with Mythic Legions. Um, no, this is Gorilla Grodd. That's Gorilla Grodd by the Four Horsemen as well. And the one down there is, is Gygor. So that was a Build-A-Figure there, and he's really awesome looking, especially after I've decked him out with some Anatherian and some um, other accoutrements. So... Um, and then the Planet of the Apes gorillas. Those are awesome. Right? And the orangutan. And I have some more of them out here hanging out. The gorillas up top. But of course, tiny, tiny, tiny compared to the massive Kong, the king. Right? And then. Some other gorillas that I had that were pretty cool, nicely sculpted, but <clears throat> are these guys. The cybernetic gorilla from Spawn by McFarlane. And then I think this other King Kong figure, but you know, they just, they're kind of, I, I love them still, but they're kind of obsolete compared to Kong. So that's my look at Kong. Um, the cool thing about him was that uh, I got to sneak him in the house because <laughs> I bought two figures from GameStop. I got the massive Kong and then I got a, a um, another figure. And so both of the deliveries came on uh, the same day. My mom, uh, my, my mom, <laughs> my mom, no, my wife and I are sheltering at home. So when the big package came, I got a chance to intercept it and, and sneak it in the house. And I had mentioned that UPS was bringing something by. So when the little package came later at night, it's like, oh, what did you get from UPS? And I only showed her that little package. So not that she would get upset or anything, but I know there would be an accusatory look in her eyes when she saw this giant, massive package containing the gorilla. So... And then um, more monkey love here. There's a Planet of the Apes um, from that Planet of the Apes movie. I mean, you can never have enough monkey goodness in your collection. I know uh, Corn Boy agrees with me. He's a big uh, fan of gorillas and, and monkeys and stuff. Oh, yeah. And, of course, way up here. From Legendary Comic Book Heroes, we've got another gorilla, and we've also got this gorilla. As you can see, I, I'm sort of customizing, uh, I, I try to customize most of the gorillas to make a Mythic Legions compatible. This is a harness here from Masters of the Universe Classics, and then this is... Um, I took a Slave Leia costume and I cut it into bits to make a um, outfit for this guy. So I'm looking to figure out a way to
to make King Kong. Uh, I, I know it'd be a challenge. Uh, <laughs> Mythic Legion's compatible, but if not, he's still gonna be awesome there, on his own, terrorizing the city. All the heroes here are petrified. Not don't, they don't know what to do, right? Even 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 the Hulk, right? So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's my Kong. Uh, really happy to have him. 250 bucks, uh, way too much. 175, eh, maybe about 25 bucks too much, but um, definitely um, worth it, I think, especially since I didn't have to pay for shipping. Hey, what's the most expensive figure that you've ever purchased in your collection? This is, I think, you know, this is it. This is it for me. This is pretty much the, the, the biggest, most expensive figure that I've ever purchased. But he's special and he'll hold down a special place in my collection. So, like I said, well worth it. All right. Is the Wiz signing out? It's funny that thousands of people are going to know about this. Maybe. Uh, and, and maybe my wife, uh, before my wife does. <laughs> uh, all right. Is the way of signing out.